How to use Animaker as a beginner in 2021. Animaker will help you create animation and live action videos for every moment of your life. So let's start. Once you sign up for Animaker, this is what you get. Signing up process is very easy. All you have to do is just sign up with your Google account or with your email. Once you do that, you will get this. Now right here guys, you can see that there are literally hundreds of thousands of templates available for you to choose from. So what you can do is simply go ahead and preview any of the video and then create a similar video. For example, there is this teacher video resume. So you will just go ahead and preview it. This video will play for you. And once you have seen this video and you think that you want to create a video like this, Okay, cool. So you can just go ahead and use it. But right now I'm going to go ahead and create a blank project because I want to show you everything from the scratch and show you around how you can make a video from the start. So I'm going to choose the size video and it will be a horizontal video. Okay, guys. So this is my dashboard for Animaker. Now you can see right here that there are a lot of elements that are available. Let me show you around a bit first. You can see that there is a characters option where you are seeing the characters right now because I have selected this. This was the characters option. Then there is this pre-built templates that we just saw. You can go ahead and choose any pre-template from here. Then there is a properties option where you choose different properties. There is text, background, image, video option for you. There is properties, text, background, image and video option for you. And then we will actually use all of these in the video. So after that, you can see right here that there is a full and light mode. You can just go ahead and watch a video in full or light more than edit it after that there is a share option and publish option once you create your video after that you can see right here this is the timeline where you see different timeline of your scene for example a character for how long the character will stay in the scene or how long the scene will be you see the timeline right here after that, this is the actually workplace where we're going to see the video and the progress that we make. So let's go ahead and create our first scene. Right here is the first scene. When you want to create another scene, you just go ahead and click on this add scene button. So let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to go ahead and create a background. The background right now is white. So you can go ahead and choose any of the background from here. And you can go ahead with office background or gradient or any of the photo background if you want or any animation thing you want. Like if you want a home, then you just go ahead and choose from here. If you want a simple blank color, you just click right here and you will see that here I get the color option. I'm going to go ahead and choose a color from here. I can simply just drag it and choose any color I want to. I'm going with a very light pink. Yeah, this is the color that I chose. You can just go ahead and choose any color, then click. Now, this is what my background will be for the first scene. After that, I want to add a character in it. So I will go to characters right here and add any of the characters that are available. You can see that there are a lots of characters for you to choose from. I am for now going with this lady right here. Once I click on her, you will just see her in our workspace. Now I have chosen this lady. Let's call her Anna shall we okay so i'm gonna name her anna so this is our anna and anna is gonna be on the screen i can just go ahead and make her a little bigger and place her in the side right here so i have placed anna right here you can see that there are different settings also available that i can choose from that there is color voice and different actions that anna can do right here you can see that there is if i click on her you will see the action. Now there are a bunch of actions available that Anna can perform. For example, I want her to cry. So I will just go ahead and click right here and you will see that she will start crying. And then there is a 
jumping with the trophy action. If I click right here, you will see that she will start jumping with the trophy. So you can go ahead and create any of these actions. Right now, I'm going to give her this waving and saying hi. So that's cool for the first scene. I guess she's waving at us. I'm going to choose this one. Now, what you can do is you can actually change her expressions. If you go to expressions right here, you will see I can make her smiling. I can make her sad. If I click her right here, you can see that now Anna is sad. Okay, she's waving at us and this is the first queen. I do not want her to be sad. I want her to be happy. So I'm giving her a very happy expression. So this way you can go ahead and do and change the expressions of your character okay once you do that's for the characters like for example for now i am good with anna she's waving at us good after that i want to add a text so i will simply go to text and choose from different texts that are available you can see right here if we go ahead and choose this text right here okay i want something like this okay they have written justin bieber for some reason <laughs> i don't know why they did that but i do like justin bieber so but we're gonna change this right here i'm gonna go ahead and you can just simply erase it by backspace and after that i'm gonna add my text and that will be hi there yeah this will be my first text and i can go ahead and actually click on this text and change a bunch of settings i can go ahead and increase the letter spacing if i want to and then i can change the color of the text so you can see right here that i can do a lot with the text right here i can change the size and then i can change the font if i want to so i'm going to change the font of this text it's way too small i guess there are literally bunch of fonts for you to choose from so i'm just going with this now and then i'm going to remove these explanation marks actually because they were not looking good but now i think it looks good i can just adjust it right here and i can actually make it a little smaller so yeah guys this way you can actually add any of the text right here the way i did you can just go ahead and write any of the text you want to you can choose from different headings right here or fonts or you can go ahead and create your own heading a subheading or a little body text if you want to once you do that, we can go to properties. Now, what happens in properties is that you can go ahead and add different bunch of cool things into your video. For example, you're making an educational video. Then you can simply go ahead and add any of the shape you want to. For example, I could have added this square and then change the color of the square. For now, I'm not going to add anything, but you can just simply go ahead and do that. For example, I want you to add any emoji. I would have just dragged it right here. So I will just drag it and make it a little smaller and place it right here. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this emoji or you can go ahead and create a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, so this is properties. After that, you can go ahead and add any image if you want to. So let me show you around you can actually within when you're making your video you could just simply go ahead and watch your scene within the video how it looks so if you just click on play you will actually see what it looks like and it's the 10 second scene right here okay cool now if i think that the scene is way too long so i'm just gonna click right here and decrease the size you can just simply drag it and decrease the size of the scene if you want to after that we can just bring these back and then there is a image option what happens in image is that you can simply go ahead and add any of the image or choose from this already given for example you were making a video about something like a motivational video so you would just simply go ahead and choose this image right here if i show you you can just make it like a little bigger and then you can add any of the text you want to you want to add any effects you can just make transitions and you can actually make a very cool video here for now i am going to cross it so this way you can actually add different images right here after that there is a video option and in video option you can actually 
add any video if you want to. For example, if I choose this video right here, now you will see that the video of a time lapse video will be added into my video. If I play it, then you will be able to see. So yeah, right here you can actually check out how this time lapse look. Right now I do have Anna and Hyder on the screen. That's why it's like not showing like that, but you can actually add any of the cool time lapse or slow motion video into your live action video. So after that, let's go back to the characters and let me show you different things that you can do with the characters. Okay, for the video, I'm going to delete for now. Okay, so let me show you around what you can do with the characters a little. So what you can do is you can actually make her perform different actions. If I click on this, now this is a apply smooth motion option. What happens here is that I can actually make her do different actions within a scene. For example, she's standing here and she's waving at us, but I want her to move across the screen to right here and do another action. So what I will do is I would simply add and it will allow me to choose another action. So I want her to go across the screen and got an idea. Like for example, she got an idea. So what will happen is that I will just move her right here. Good. And I will say, okay. And I will apply that. Once I do that, you will see if I just, okay. Now right here, you can see this is the difference between the two actions. And the more I will take her apart, the longer it will take her to move. For example, if I just like keep it here, then it will take her one second to move from here to there. But if I want her to move in like three seconds, like in a little slow move way, then I will just keep her apart and apply. Now, this is what it will look like. And she's moving and she went there and she got an idea. Actually, she's like a little out of the screen, which is like the placement issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and okay, you got the point. So yeah, this way you can actually go ahead and it's actually done now. So, but I can still move her to like here, place her a little here. Okay. Now you saw that you couldn't see her in the screen. So I just moved her a bit closer and this way you can actually see. And once I apply it, you will see that she can move across the screen and do her action. So yeah, this way you can actually make your character perform different things. And after that, there is, you can see that this is a voice option. So what happens is I can actually give her a voice. I can record any voice if I want to or text to speech option or upload any of the voice that I have for her. So I can just simply go to record and record something for her. For example, she's waving. So I can just simply go ahead and record hi there or something like that. So you can just go ahead and add any of the voice if you want to give her and she will actually move her lips according to your voice. So this is the difference that actually Animaker has from a lot of other animation making softwares that they do not offer pre correct. So now you can go ahead and create any of the cool animation video of yourself or live action video for someone's birthday. Or if you want to create awesome videos of your own, you can just go ahead and make them on Animaker. I hope I was a big help to you. If you're just starting at Animaker, you can just follow this tutorial and you will be good to go. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care.